This is a video about how to install the read and write extension to mark up PDF files and turn them in on Google Classroom. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure I have everything installed that I need. Read and write is the main extension, looks like a puzzle piece, but I would also install PDF Reader and Screenshot Reader. They sometimes work together and they're all made by a company called Text Help. I can see in the upper right hand corner of my browser that I have all three of them installed. I see the icons right there. So let's go to my drive for a second. And in my Google Drive, I made this folder called 000, and I did that so it comes right to the top of the alphabetical list. There's nothing in there now, but that is where I'm going to store the marked up PDF, and then I will fetch it from there to turn it in on Google Classroom. So let's go to Google Classroom. So this is the class, I'm a student in this class. I go to the Classworks page and I can see there's an assignment here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And it says answer on the PDF and submit when finished. So I have to mark this up and then turn it in. Let's go to view assignment. Okay, so here is the original PDF, the clean PDF. I'm gonna mark it up, save it to my Google Drive, fetch it from there, add it back in, and then turn it in. Okay, so if I click on this, it's going to open with this toolbar. So here's the read and write toolbar for PDFs. See all these things right here? This is uh, text to speech and my markup tools. The ones I'm going to be using are really the Teeth, the typewriter, and perhaps the freehand drawing tool. So the freehand drawing tool, if you click once on that, it becomes like a stylus. You can use your mouse or your finger and you can go ahead and draw on it like so. Let's click it to stop it. The typing tool, you click once on that and then click on your document and you can go ahead and start typing like so. You can make the font large if you'd like. You can change the color of it, grab the four headed arrow and move it around on the document wherever you'd like. If you don't like what you've done, you hit the trash can. If you do, you hit the check mark. And now it's on the document. If I wanna go back and edit it, just click once on it and all of these tools become available again. This is actually called talk and type, so you can speak into your microphone and have it do uh, speech to text for you as well. Okay, so this looks good. So let's suppose I've marked up this document and now I wanna turn it in. So first I'm going to uh, print it to a new PDF so that these markups are incorporated in the PDF. So the word print in computer speak means two things. It means to send something to a physical printer so that the papers come out of it but it also means to create a new file. So in this case, I'm going to print this to a new PDF. So I come down to the print icon here, click on that, takes a moment, and then I'm going to get a screen that says, this is what I want to say. I want to say save as PDF. This is a new PDF I'm going to make with the markups on it. I click on save. And I have two choices of where I can save it to. One is the computer itself, and the other is my Google Drive. So if I save it to the computer, which I could do, I could save it to the downloads area. See, I have a couple other files here. I could save it here and fetch it as well, but I'm gonna save it right into my Google Drive. So let's go ahead and open up that, and then open up my drive. And here's that folder, that 000 folder. I'm going to go ahead and save it in here and you can change the name of it, but it has my name and it says that. And I'm gonna, just gonna add at the end here, uh, I'm gonna put marked up. Just to give it a different name. And then I hit save. It's saving to my Google Drive to that folder right here. So if I open up this, I should see it in there. Okay, and there it, it took a moment uh, to refresh itself, but it shows up in there. And again, that is where I'm going to get it from. See, it says marked up here. That is where I'm going to get it from in Google Classroom. So let's go back here again. Now, I actually don't need this original one, so I'm gonna get rid of it in a moment, but let's add the new one first. So I hit add, Google Drive. Go into that folder. If I go to my drive, here it is. That's the document, add it. Okay, so here's the marked up one right here. And this is the original, which is a clean one. So I'm not gonna, I can actually get rid of the clean one. 
I can hit the X right here. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna hand in the marked up one right here. So once I've done that, I can hit turn in and then turn in. And now my teacher will have received the marked up PDF for this assignment. So that is how you use the Read and Write extension to mark up PDFs and turn them in on Google Classroom.